Hi friends, we are doing unit two, lesson seven, frogs today. We're going to be reading from chapter nine, the poison dart frog out of your small reader. A poison dart frog lives in the rainforest of South America. It is a tiny frog. It is only an inch and a half long. It is cute, but it would be a mistake to pet this frog. Frogs like this one secrete poison. That means the poison seeps out from its skin. Some poison dart frogs secrete a mild poison. Others secrete a poison that is strong enough to kill humans. The poison helps protect the frog. It tells other animals to leave the frog alone. The native people of South America collected poison from this kind of frog. They dipped darts into the poison. Then they used blow guns to fire poisoned darts at their enemies. This is why the frogs are called poison dart frogs. Many poison dart frogs are brightly colored. You might think this would be a dangerous trait. After all, many animals are camouflaged. Their camouflage helps them hide from predators. Why then would an animal be brightly colored? Why would it stand out? Wouldn't that make it easier for predators to spot? Scientists think that this is precisely the point. They have noted that many poisonous animals are brightly colored. They think the color serves as a warning sign. It tells other animals, watch out, you don't want to eat me, I will poison you. Poison dart frogs are amphibians. That means they live in water and on land. Poison dart frogs lay eggs. The female lays the eggs in a moist spot. Then the male fertilizes the eggs. Eventually tadpoles hatch out of the fertilized eggs. Some amphibians lay a lot of eggs and leave the young to fend for themselves. Poison dart frogs are not like that. They are dedicated parents. The adult frogs carry their newly hatched tadpoles up into the canopy or tops of trees above the rainforest. They carry the baby tadpoles on their backs one at a time. The parents, the parents secrete sticky mucus. This sticky mucus keeps the tadpoles from falling off the parents' backs during the climb up to the canopy. For many species, the mothers do much of the child care. This is not true of poison dart frogs. Mothers and fathers both take care of the young. Moms and dads both carry the tadpoles up into the canopy. The parents deposit the tadpoles in small pools of water that form in plants at the top of the canopy. The tadpoles live in these pools for a while. They breathe underwater using gills. They eat tiny animals that live in the water. If there's not enough food, the mother may lay eggs in the pool. The tadpoles can eat the eggs. Eventually, the tadpoles experience a metamorphosis or change. They grow legs, they develop lungs, they change into frogs. Once this happens, they are ready to leave the water. The habitat of the poison dart frog is under threat. It is threatened by logging and farming. If trees are cut down, these frogs have nowhere to live. In recent years, lots of trees have been cut down in South America. Some people cut them down to sell the wood. Some cut them down to set up farms. As a result of this tree cutting, some kinds of poison dart frogs are now endangered. You may now move on to Unit 2, Lesson 7, Google Form.